my dad coached me in basketball, my mom coached me in soccer, so it's always just kind of been big for me and, you know, loved going to practice and playing and I've loved soccer forever and that's been my number one for a long time. Basketball's always been there too, you know, I've always played it and loved it and I've always, always really enjoyed both of those. So I have, uh, it's called polyps, which is uh, benign cancer is what it's called, so it means that, uh, that it's like developing cancer. And I mean, we don't know when it will develop, but it's been in my family uh, for years, but we actually didn't know that it was genetic until uh, just recently when my dad got it and then my aunt. We ended up getting the test done and uh, me and my, my brother Wyatt have it, so we found out that he had cancer and what it broke down to was, you know, it's just his time to get his stomach out cancer normally it develops as you get older but this is a weird rare thing and it doesn't always follow the patterns that the other things are we went to Maryland and I mean he's the youngest person ever to have his stomach removed so we really didn't know what to plan for my mom stayed with him the whole time and you know we were just trying to do our best just figure things out as we go and be together and I mean this this whole thing is definitely brought me and him closer together for sure. There's not really an age that it needs to be taken out specifically, but we just need to monitor it because you don't want it to become cancer and then we have to worry about it spreading. And um, if we can keep it contained in the stomach and then just get rid of the stomach, then that would you know, be a much simpler uh, solution to that. So it all just depends on how my body will react to you know, losing the stomach and we'll see how much I can I can do with that and how long it will take me to get back to it, but yeah, no, I, I plan on staying active as much as possible. My wish was to go to Hawaii. Yeah, I thought about it for a long time and what I wanted and I figured um, probably won't get another chance to go to Hawaii, especially with my whole family, you know, having a larger family with six siblings. So I gotta go surfing, which is, which is probably my favorite part because I just love the ocean. We went snorkeling, we got to go golfing. Um, a ton of hiking too, which I really love. Like I love just being in nature, and I think most of my family does too. So, like I said, we really capitalized on that opportunity. So it was it was really a blessing to do that together. Make a Wish actually sent me this token that says, uh, "Wish child, like you get you get one wish," and it's a nice reminder that uh, you know that I mean things get down, things get hard more often than not, honestly, and. It's nice to be able to look back at it and remember that there's always there's always hope, there's always a bright side and things to look forward to and no matter how bad it gets, you can always just something to enjoy all the time, you know. Thank you to Make a Wish and I mean this is it's really been huge and like I said, not just not just the vacation itself and how special that was, but just the change in how I look at life and you know how there's always something to look forward to. I think it's just really been, really been big for me.